Boys and girls, it's tier list time. Indeed, indeed. We're gonna go quiet. We're gonna go silent on this one because, um... Let's get real. Say hi to YouTube, boys. Okay, <laughs> three, two, one, it's jam. Today is exciting because we have yet another list that I'm gonna make that is just riddled with hot takes. We have in front of us all the starters from every gen listed in order of appearance. And we're gonna go through them. We're gonna go through them. The beginning of the list is gonna take a lot longer than the end of the list probably because I've a, I have a lot more opinions on the first few. So before you get your fucking panties all twisted up, relax. Other people have different opinions than you do because you're wrong and this is the correct opinion. I don't think there's that many S tiers. I really don't. Gen 1, right off the bat. How can you put any of them B or below? How can you put any of them in B, C, or D? Charmander. Charmander's one of the OGs. Pokemon Red was my first Pokemon game. I loved it to hell and back. I picked Charmander. I had a Charizard by the end of the fucking day, Christmas Day, when I got it. And for all time, Charmander is going to remain S for me. It's just for me, it's what started it all. It was my first Pokemon ever. I can't not. Squirtle, I think, is a high A. And Bulbasaur is a low A. I love, I've come to love Bulbasaur more and more throughout the years. It's my son's favorite Kanto starter. When he was a little kid, he, he was always, always pro Bulbasaur. So uh, I got a lot of respect. A, I think, is the correct play here. Now, are you ready for some hot takes? Totodile? Best starter of all time. Fucking fight me. S tier. This boy is so good. He looks threatening, but also adorable. There's so much to him. And he's great. And he evolves into the booty. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. The motherfucking booty. He's S tier. End of story. Chikorita, perhaps a bit of a hot take. That's an A, it's good. It's got a little ponytail, but it's a leaf design wise, love it. Meganium was thickums. Thick Orita, ladies and gentlemen. Thick Orita is A tier, and if you disagree, you can get the fuck out of my face. Cyndaquil, the hot takes begin. <laughs> it's annoying. Every video I see, from the anime of this thing, it just, it's just, it sounds annoying. It looks dumb. I hate it. When it's just chilling, it doesn't have the fire on its back. What the fuck is it? It, like the fire on its back when it's lit, it looks kind of cool. But when it's not, get the fuck out of here. It looks so weird. It's not even red if it doesn't have the fire. It's shitty. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking D tier, man. Mudkip, I think is pretty base. Not bad, not amazing. Just kind of a middling one. I do like Mudkips. There is meme potential, of course. It has the meme lore, but I don't think that's enough to push it to an A. Uh, it's definitely a high B though. This little cunt. This little cunt right here. Guess what, boys and girls? D tier. Look at it. It's so fucking like some people will be like, ah, oh, it's cute. It's fucking annoying. It looks like a fucking football for me to punt. I don't like it. I don't like Blaziken. I don't like the many years of torturous firefighting bullshit. It started a terrible trend. I think it's overhyped. Gen 3 can suck it. One of the contributing factors to my distaste of Gen 3 is the starters. Uh, wait until we do middle evolutions too. I fucking hate Combuskin. Uh, Trico, it, it, it kind of hovers for me between B and C. If it sticks here in B, it's a low B. It's just kind of meh. It's okay. It's not incredible. It's not amazing. Chimchar, meh. It's just kind of a monkey. I don't know. I don't like it too much. Turtwig. Uh, 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 we'll go B. Uh, a high B. A high B for sure. Turtwig, uh, I like the whole, you know, nature-based turtle. You know, it, it, it's a cool thing to base a Pokemon off of. You know, the turtle with the world on its back and all that cool shit. I like that. But at the end of the day, I don't think it pushes it into A. Piplup. Holy fuck. You want to talk about cute starters? 
You gonna sit there, chat, and tell me that Mudkip is cute when it's got water competition like Piplup? Boy, that's an A tier. That is an A tier and a half. This thing is adorable. This thing is awesome. We get a water steel type out of it and it's like a king penguin. So dope. I love the penguin. I love, love, love Piplup. It's a pangy. It goes high A. If you ask me above Chikorita, above Bulbasaur, maybe pretty level with Squirtle. Big fan of Piplup. Uh, Snivy, this bitch looks, this, he looks like such an asshole. Look at him. He looks like he has a monocle and he's going, hmm, indubitably. Oh, yes, the peasant class. <laughs> Fuck that 1% bullshit. C. I'm not as pissed off at him as I am with the D tier here. I don't really don't like these two Pokemon too much, but um, this guy's a cunt and I hate him. Okay, okay, once again, the fucking cuteness level is pretty high, but I feel like I want to put him higher because my son loved the Aquanauts when he was a little, like, like, like a baby baby, right? And this thing reminds me of the Aquanaut. Uh, I feel like that's kind of like screwing with my head. It's screwing with my opinion. The Aquanauts, man. I had such good times learning about sea biology. I'm gonna put this in B and just leave it alone. I think I'm too biased to make an opinion. <laughs> but Tepig on the other way, he's so happy, but he's a C. I mean, you can't continue the fire fighting for that long and expect me to give you any kind of a good rating. Get the fuck out of here. You're just a big beefy pig. Good job. Good job, we're playing Angry Birds. Fantastic, C. I'm gonna talk about Fennekin first here. Uh, Fennekin, C. Um, nice try. It gets by, I get it. It's kind of like, you know, it evolves and it's kind of got like a little wizard robe going on. It's gonna be cool or whatever. But like I said, I'm not gonna judge the final evolution on it. I'm just gonna judge it. And I don't know, man. I don't know, I just don't like it. I don't like it. These two motherfuckers right here though, these two boys right here, they're both A tier. You know what, you know what, now I think about it, now that I think about it, JK, S tier. Froki is amazing. I love Froki. I love Froki so much. I can't see content with Froki involved without being hyped. Ugh, Froki, my dude, my guy, the fucking frog, he goes up. He goes up for sure. And Greninja, you best know, you best know that Greninja is gonna be S tier when we do final evolutions as far as the tier lists are concerned. He belongs S tier. This thing's so sick, it's so cool. I love it. I love the design, I love when it grows up. I love the little like, the scarf made of like bubbly stuff. It, it's cool. I love everything about it. I, X and Y means a lot to me. I've had that discussion with you guys before. He was my boy, he was my mans, and I loved him. Next, uh, Pop Leo and Litten. Um, Litten's got a badass name. And I think just the meme level of Litten, just its name, brings it to roughly the B tier. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I feel like it middles really, really well in the B tier. Pop Leo, I feel, is down here. Maybe it's just me because, you know, it's a little girly at the end of the day. Um, especially since we know where it's gonna go evolution-wise. If I could judge these guys without ever looking at the final evolutions, like, maybe it would be a little different, but knowing where it goes, you kind of pick out the things about it more, and uh, it's just not for me. Rowl it, though. Rowl it. Did you really think I wasn't gonna put the motherfucking bow tie in the S tier? This boy is so cute. It's got a fucking bow tie and its nose looks like a clit? Fucking sign me up. Sign me up all day for this little bastard. I am down to clown fucking A. S tier, I'm not talking about it anymore. Bow tie, clit nose, end of story. Now. The newbies. You know what? Kind of a crying bitch. I don't like it. I don't like seeing that in a Pokemon. I am training my fucking animals here to cage battle against each other. I don't want them to be crying their little bitch self to sleep. Like, I, I don't see it. 
I don't see it. I like my Pokemon strong. I like my Pokemon beefy. I like my Pokemon beefy enough to bang the drums, maybe? A tier. I love Grookey. Grookey gang, not from the start, but Grookey gang from definitely the beginning of the game. Holy shit, I loved Grookey, and it turns out to be amazing. It's awesome. I love him. This little cunt right here, it's just another, it's a bunny. It's a bunny, I put him down the C tier. Uh, I don't have much to say about the fucking bunny. Um, it's just kinda, it's kinda meh. I get what they eventually do, it's soccer, it's the UK. I don't fucking care. I don't care about your goddamn soccer, football, whatever you retards wanna call it, I don't care. C tier. So, ladies and gents, there it is, our tier list for starter Pokemon. The OG form. Charmander, Totodile, Froki, and Rowlet taking the S tier column. And you assholes call me a Gen 1-er. No, 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 no. My favorite Gen is Gen 1, but like, I, I love all Pokemon. So there's my tier list, boys and girls. So there it is. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. Big, big jungles, big jungles.